Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to fix your internet connection if it appears to be broken. So, what will happen is, let's say you go on your Mac and you think everything's fine, you look up under, you know, your airport icon, and you have full connection, and everything looks good. Then you head over to your browser, and you can't get anything. It won't display any web pages. It appears that you're not connected at all. Uh, now, this can be really frustrating, and, you know, it can, it can make you mad if, if you uh, don't know what the fix is. So, it's actually fairly simple. All you're going to have to do is open up System Preferences which can be found by opening a new finder window and then going into your applications folder and then scrolling down to system preferences so once this is open what you're going to do is you're going to find the network tab and it's under internet and wireless so you're just going to click on that and what you're going to see here is all the different ways you can connect to the internet and the information about them. So the problem you'll be having, most likely, is that one of your devices will say it has a self-assigned IP. So in this case, it's Ethernet, and it says self-assigned IP. Ethernet has a self-assigned IP address and will not be able to connect to the internet. Well, that, that's you know, going to be a problem, because even if it looks like you're connected, you're not going to be. So, I don't have my Ethernet connected to anything, so it's not going to show that it's fixed on here, but this does work. Um, there's two different options you have. Now, the first one's not always the most reliable, uh, but you can try it. You're going to want to click on the Advanced tab. Now, this works no matter if you're under Airport, Ethernet, you know, Bluetooth, Firewire, so that, does, that doesn't matter. So, you're going to click on this Advanced button down here, and you're going to see this drop-down menu pop up, and you can click renew DHCP lease and it's going to take a couple seconds and you can see uh, nothing changed for me here which is it's because I'm not connected to anything I'm connected with airport so you do that then you can try going back and browsing the web again if that still doesn't work what you're going to do is you're gonna to have to set a new look a new location so if you look up in the top here it says location and currently at home so what you're going to do is you're going to click on edit locations it's eight and then you're going to click the plus button right here and then name a new location so for now I'll just name it test and then click done so now you have a new location and what you're going to do here is make sure you're connected so I'm going to click on airport and I'm going to click advanced and I will click on renew DHCP lease and click apply and then click OK so now it'll take a couple seconds and you'll be connected and now I have an IP address that's working and I'm connected to my network and everything's fine so that's two quick fixes, and you should be good to go then. You know, there should be no problems. Um, airport's connected. You could see after I'm in a new location, it wasn't connected, and it wasn't getting an IP address. And then it, it's fixed once you make a new location. So, you know, first you can try renewing your DHCP lease. If that doesn't work, create a new location. And that should solve a lot of common uh, Internet connection problems you might have. So I hope this you found this useful, and if you ever run into problems with this on your Mac, you'll know what to do. Thanks for watching.